Now that you have a basic understanding of partial derivatives, we're going to move forward with second order partial derivatives, which is basically the equivalent of a second derivative where you have more than one variable in your function. These are found by differentiating the function f of x, y twice, and there are several ways to do this. So when we were back in Calc 1, f double prime, our second derivative, would just be taking the derivative with respect to x twice. But here we have more than one variable, so we actually have four options, and they have a special notation. So our notation is, um, our first option is partial squared f over partial x squared equals f sub xx. And I'm going to um, write the definitions here as we go. So here are the, our definitions. That is equivalent to doing the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So I do the partial derivative with respect to x twice when I see the, uh, x, the partial x squared or the f sub xx. My next option is partial squared f over partial y squared equals f sub yy. And it, of course that would be the partial derivative with respect to y twice. Our next option is partial squared f over partial x partial y equals f y x. And if you look down at that second definition, um, it says partial squared f over partial x partial y equals partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So that's telling us we do the derivative with respect to y first and then with respect to x um, of that result. We take that result and do the derivative with respect to x. So in this option we do y first and notice that y is the variable that's written close, um, closest to our function f. So y first, x second. So that's equivalent, this notation is equivalent to partial squared over partial x partial y of the function f or f sub y x and whichever variable is written closest to the function is the one to do first. So in this fourth option on the farthest right, we have partial squared f over partial y partial x equals f sub xy. So on that option, I would do the x first and then y second. So just remember whichever variables um, closest to the function is the one you do first. So there's our notation. Uh, make sure you get a firm grasp on that so that you'll know what you're being asked for um, in the questions in your homework. So here's our example. We want to find all the second order partial derivatives of h of x, y equals x e to the y plus y plus sine of x. So all the second order partial derivatives. So we're looking for f sub x, x f sub y, y, f sub x, y, and f sub y, x, all four of those. So our first step is going to be to find f sub x and f sub y, our first partial derivatives. So remember, f sub x is the partial derivative with respect to x of our function, and our function is x and then e to the y is a constant when we're doing with respect to x. So x times e to the y, so I'm writing e to the y in blue, plus y, and y is a constant with respect to x, so I'm writing it in blue, plus sine x. So the e to the y is a constant multiple. The y is just a constant off by itself, so its derivative will be zero. And now I take the derivative with respect to x, the derivative of x is 1, multiply by the constant multiple e to the y, plus 0, because 
y as a constant, plus cosine of x. So simplifying that, I get e to the y plus cosine x, and that is my f sub x, my first partial derivative with respect to x. Now I'll do the same thing for y. f sub y equals the partial derivative with respect to y of, now here x is a constant, so I'm writing it in blue, x times e to the y plus y plus my constant sine x. So derivative of e to the y, um, x is a constant multiple, sine x is just a constant. Derivative of e um, to the y is just e to the y, so I get my constant x times e to the y, plus 1, the derivative of y, plus 0, the derivative of my constant. So I get x e to the y plus 1, and that's my f sub y. So now we can find second order derivatives. These were our first order derivatives. Now we want to take each of them and do derivative with respect to x and with respect to y to each one. So I'll rewrite my partial derivatives. f sub x equals e to the y plus cosine x. f sub y equals x e to the y plus 1 and I'm going to go for f sub x x first. So f sub x x is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of f sub x. So I have the partial derivative with respect to x of e to the y plus cosine x. And e to the y is a constant, so its derivative is zero, so I just focus on that cosine x and I get negative sine x. So that's my second derivative with respect to x twice. So f sub x x. Now I'll do f sub y y and that's the partial derivative with respect to y of f sub y. So partial derivative with respect to y of x e to the y plus 1, and the x is a constant multiple because I'm deriving with respect to y. So I get x e to the y plus the derivative of 1 is 0, so just x e to the y is my um, second derivative with respect to y twice. So f sub y y is x e to the y. Now I want f sub x y which is the partial derivative with respect to y of f sub x. So I did the f sub x first because the x was written closest to f. And so that's the partial derivative with respect to y of e to the y plus cosine x. And cosine x is a constant because I'm doing the deriv derivative with respect to y. So I just get e to the y. f sub y x is the partial derivative with respect to x of f sub y. And that's the partial derivative with respect to x of x e to the y plus 1. And e to the y is a constant multiple. So derivative of x is 1. So I'm going to get 1 times my constant multiple. So just e to the y. Now notice that f sub x y and f sub y x are actually the same. And this happens whenever certain conditions are met. And we'll talk about that in a later video. But if your function meets certain conditions, then your second derivatives um, will be the same no matter which order you do them in. So remember for second derivatives, do the derivative with respect to the variable that's closest to f first, and then do the derivative of that result um, with respect to whatever variable is listed second.